So in this video, we're going to be working through this problem where we've got that the modulus of z plus 4 plus 6i is equal to root 5, and the modulus of z take away i is equal to the modulus of z take away 4 plus 7i. And we need to find the possible values of z that satisfy both of those equations. Okay, so this looks absolutely horrendous, right? Let's draw a diagram so we can visualize what's going on, uh, so we can make a little bit of sense of this. Okay, so real axis, imaginary axis. So this is a circle centered at minus 4, minus 6. So minus 4, minus 6. So somewhere down here. Okay. Minus 4, minus 6. And it's got a radius of root 5. Now, root 5 is 2.236. OK, so it's not going to touch an axis. It's going to look something like that. OK, that needs to be rough so I can visualise what's going on. So that is my circle, and that's of length root 5. OK, now this second part here, uh, this is a perpendicular bisector of these two coordinates. So we've got... Um, plus i, so 1 on the imaginary axis. And we've got minus 4 plus 7i, so 4 take away 7i. So 4 along, and then we are 7 down. So it's this point here. So that's uh, minus 7. And that's 4. OK. So we want the perpendicular bisector of those two points. So if we find out the midpoint, then uh, we've got uh, 0, 1, and we've got 4 minus 7. So the midpoint is going to be 0 plus 4 divided by 2, uh, divided by two uh, is 2. And 1 plus minus 7 is minus 6 divided by 2, so minus 3. So 2 minus 3, so something like here. And so our line is going through something like this. And I'm assuming it's going to intersect our circle at two points. OK? So. We need to work out the equation of the line then, and work out the equation of the circle, both in Cartesian form, then I can sub one into the other and solve the equation. Okay, So that would be my route through here. So first of all, I want to get the equation of that circle. So our circle equation will be x plus 4 squared plus y plus 6 squared is equal to 5. Okay. Now, the equation of the line, now, if we run this through, um, we're going to have x plus iy take away i. So we're going to have x uh, plus i lots of y take away 1 is equal to, then I've got x plus iy take away 4 plus 7i. So x take away 4 plus i lots of y plus 7. So I'm going to have x squared plus y minus 1 squared equals x take away 4 squared plus y plus 7 squared. Expand everything out, we've got the x squared plus y squared minus 2y plus 1 is equal to x squared take away 8x plus 16 plus y squared plus 14y plus 49. OK, so the x squareds can go, the y squareds can go. Let's get the y's on the left-hand side. So we've got minus, we've got 14y, so minus 16y. And everything else onto the right-hand side. So we've got the minus 8x. We've got 16 and 49. So that's uh, 65. Take away 1, so 64. Divide through by the minus 16. So y is equal to minus 8 divided by minus 16 is a half x, and then uh, 64 divided by minus 16 is minus 4. 
So y equals a half x take away 4 is the equation of the line. So now I need to substitute that into my circle equation to work out where the intersections are. So we've got the x plus 4 squared plus, substituting in the y, so 1 half x take away 4 plus 6 squared equals 5. So x plus 4 squared plus a half x um, minus 4 plus 6, so plus 2 squared equals 5. So expanding everything out, we've got the x squared plus 8x plus 16. Uh, sorry, plus uh, a quarter x squared. Uh, we've got a half x times 2, so that's x twice that, so 2x uh, plus 4 equals 5. So we've got x squared plus a quarter x squared, so that's 5 quarters x squared. We've got 8x and 2x, so that's uh, 10x. We've got 16 and 4 make 20. Take 5 from both sides, so plus 15 equals 0. Okay. Right. So from here, I should be able to solve that equation on my calculator. So we've got the 5 quarters, 10 and 15. So we get minus 2 and minus 6. OK. So when x equals minus 2, then y is equal to 1 half times minus 2, so minus 1. Take away 4 is minus 5. And when x is minus 6, we've got 1 half times minus 6, so minus 3. Take away 4 is minus 7. OK. So they are two points. So minus 2 minus 5 is that one there. And minus 6 minus 7 is that one there. So the actual complex numbers that satisfy that are minus 2 take away 5i and z equals minus 6 take away 7i. They are the two solutions that satisfy those two equations.